Today we're introducing our basic riser mini, our most affordable, most compact, and most lightweight copy stand for film scanning yet. With a footprint of just under nine by nine inches and a central column height of 16 inches, this is super compact, even more compact than our basic riser Mark II, which was nearly 13 by 13 inches and a 21 inch center extrusion. Now this is gonna be even more friendly if you're traveling with your kit or if you want a kit that takes up less real estate on your desk at home or in your office or in the studio. A side-by-side -side comparison between our Basic Riser Mini and the Basic Riser Mark II immediately demonstrates the size differences. The smaller base and the smaller central column make the Basic Riser Mini even more friendly when it comes to conserving space on a desktop or in your office or the studio. Uh, this is something that many of our users have been asking for and we're happy to finally deliver on that front. Out of our now multi-year history of producing copy stands for film scanning, the Basic Riser Mini is unique in that it has the most number of parts ever that are produced entirely in-house or locally with our manufacturing partners in Ventura County, California, and that's something we take a lot of pride in. The new head design of our Basic Riser Mini makes it easier than ever to smoothly adjust your camera's position and then keep scanning. Simply undo the knob at the back of the head, and then the head will freely slide up or down Stop at your desired position and lock the knob back down. Mounting your camera to the Basic Riser Mini is quick and easy. Simply take the included hex driver at the top of the extrusion channel and you're going to feed the ball end into the screw at the back of the head. Put your camera on and twist while holding the camera in place. With a price point nearly 40% below that of the current MSRP of our Basic Riser Mark II, the Basic Riser Mini is poised to make entry into the negative supply scanning system even more affordable than ever before. Being deployed both a la carte and in our basic 35 millimeter film scanning kits, you'll have a range of options to start out with the Basic Riser Mini being center stage in your negative supply film scanning system. While most users who start with the Basic Riser Mini will predominantly be scanning 35 millimeter strips or rolls of film, we know that many of you might have other formats you'd like to start with or other formats you'd like to move to. And the good news is that the Basic Riser Mini can accommodate a range of formats providing you use the correct focal length of macro lens. As it's currently deployed, we have our Basic Film Carrier 35 with its stabilizing mask in place on a 4x5 light source basic. We can remove that and quickly switch over to our basic mounted slide scanning kit. That just mounts on the basic light like so. But additionally, we can scan 120 film. Since the Basic Riser Mini does have a five inch shorter central column, that means you're gonna have to use wider macro lenses when scanning 120 film. So take your basic film carrier 120, it goes directly on the four x five light source basic or whatever light source you're using. And what that would mean in this case, we're typically going to be moving the camera all the way to the top. Now, there are certain focal lengths that work best with this configuration. If you're going to use the Basic Riser Mini and one of our 120 carriers, you're going to want to make sure you're not using a lens longer than 70 millimeter equivalent on full frame. So if you're scanning with a crop body that has a 1.5x uh, crop ratio, crop factor, uh, you're gonna be looking at something more like a 40 or 45 millimeter macro lens, not exceeding that focal length when scanning 120 film. Smaller, lighter, and more affordable than any film scanning copy stand we've ever launched, we are so thrilled to finally unveil the Basic Riser Mini, knowing it's gonna make film scanning even more affordable and accessible to users everywhere.